Good morning, Honors Chemistry. Welcome to our titration lab quiz. Uh, you're going to go to this link. You'll see it here. And it's going to ask you to log in at some point. So uh, I'm already logged in, but you can log in with a throwaway email address. So I'll log out so I can show you what it looks like. And I'm just going to use this guy, throwaway email address. And if you need to log in from the home page, we're going here to Chemical Sciences and under Inorganic Chemistry Virtual Lab, you'll see acid-based titration. That takes you right to the lab. We want the simulator, and you're going to want to make this full screen. So we're going to make some changes. In the burette is our titrant. We're going to change that to oxalic acid. You can adjust the speed however you want, but it's best to leave it uh, something fairly slow paced so it doesn't go too quickly. What's in the flask is the titrate, and we're going to leave it at sodium hydroxide, but we're going to change the volume to 20 mils. This normality is uh, lab technicians speak for molarity. So the concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0.1 molar. And the last thing you're going to want to do is change our indicator to phenol phthalene. When you press start, you'll notice that the titrant begins coming out of the burette. Your volume is decreasing, but it also indicates here the amount of titrant used. You want to get it to the point where our color just changes from this pink that is the color of phenolphthalein in the presence of base to acid. That means you've got it to the point of neutrality and your concentration of base and acid are equal. You're going to record these values here at the bottom. Show your calculations and submit your final answer and do so on a new page in your OneNote folder. Uh, you may want to do a screen snip of your volume from here so that uh, I know your volume used, 0.4 milliliters or however many milliliters that you use. So you may want to include that in your calculations. Okay? And that's what we're doing. This is due by the end of the period, and your grade is contingent upon how close you get. So you may want to include all the possible calculations so I can see what it is that you're doing. All right? Best of luck.